Example 3a will look at determining the future value of an annuity using the TBM solver. You are planning to save for a trip that you'll be taking in 39 weeks. Your plan is to deposit $50 at the end of each week into a short-term investment account that earns 6.5% compounded weekly. How much will you have for your trip? I want to go ahead and go into the TBM solver. We'll hit apps, then enter for finance, and enter for the TBM solver. For N, we want to take the number of years, which in this case would be 39 out of 52, or 0.75, times the number of compounding periods, which would be 52. We could also, if you look at it, kind of notice that that turns out to be 39. That's how many payments we are actually making on this particular problem. So you, in addition, you can actually just enter in the number of payments that you're making. Our interest rate is going to be 6.5%. We don't have any present value. There is no lump sum deposit. Our payment is going to be $50, so we'll put in a negative 50 to show it coming out of our pockets. Skip future value for now, going down to the payments per year and the compounding periods per year. There's weeks, so in that case it'll be 52. Arrow back up to future value. Hit alpha and enter to solve. Therefore, after 39 weeks we'll have $1,997.03. To determine how much we will have deposited, we want to take the number of payments, which is 39, times our payment amount of $50. 39 times 50 gives us a deposit total of $1,950. To determine how much we earned in interest, we'll look at the future value, which we determined from the TBM solver to be $1,000. $997.03 minus the deposit total, which is $1,950, to get an amount of interest earned, $47.03.